We're here for a special, exclusive episode with none other than clairvoyant. Clinton Baptist. Clinton Baptist. Yeah, right. I'm picking up Bob. I'm picking up Bob and I want to... Please work with me. I'm seeing him out. It's somewhere like Thailand. <laughs> yeah. It's somewhere like Thailand. I'm seeing some of the places he's visited. Wonderful. Oh, God. What a visiting beautiful people, beautiful culture. Has put me off ping pong a bit. Where he's been. <laughs> but I'm seeing him out there. Bob! <laughs> Bob! Come on. Leave them alone. Come back now. He's coming back soon. Fade in now, Bob. Fade in now. Yes, man. Yes. 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 Welcome to Ripping It Off podcast. I'm James Kilvinson. I'm Carla Mangrum. And today we have one of the best people in the world, in my in eyes. In the world. Oh, oh, isn't that lovely? Oh. He's a voice actor. He's an actor. A voice, a voice actor. I don't know that a voice. Is that the right is term? Uh, I do. Um, yeah, I'm sort of voice over artist. I voice do uh, voice over artist. Fireman Sam. I do. Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam. Yes, I play two, two characters in Fireman Sam. Do you play Sam. Naughty Norman or not? I play um, Joe, the inventor, yeah. and uh, Ben. Ben. Mm-hmm. And uh, Professor something or other. <laughs> you don't know that's professional. I've never no, watched it. I just it. Like, I just played Ben, you know, the other one, there and that ter- one. There was a terrible moment we were filming it, uh, you know, recording it, and uh, there's one of the characters, I have clearly never watched it, because I said, um, oh, do I suspect a little romance happening there? And the director went, well, not really, she's only supposed to be eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Clearly, clearly never watched it. Cancelled. Yeah, cancelled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We need a cancel button, don't we? We need it on the on the soundboard, like. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, you're also a very good comedian and a very good clairvoyant. He plays Clinton Baptiste. He plays Barry from Wofford. Barry from Wofford, what a great character as well. Who you don't get as much as much of attention from Barry as Wofford as you do as Clinton as you should from Barry as from Wofford. No, I'm going to do Barry again one day. Barry's but, great. Uh, Clinton is, uh, you know. Does better than Barry. To Clinton's be honest. great. Clinton is a great. Clinton's a character that we've we've all known since we were kids. Grown nostalgia. Says, nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. Nostalgic. Yeah. Well, thankfully, Peter K lets me do it because it's a character I played in Phoenix Nights. Yeah, but you've developed it though as well yourself. You you like I've seen you. The shows that you've done the last few years have been phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal shows. You've got another one coming up? Yeah, I'm doing a tour called Roller Ghoster from March uh, 2024. And how many uh, dates? 96 dates. Wow. 96 yeah, dates. Yeah. He's put me on three. Very, over how, over <laughs> how. Yeah, he's on top of the <laughs> <laughs> As long as you don't mess that up. Hopefully it's going to be 96. So You're not doesn't... doing Grimsby, are you? <laughs> oh, yeah, can't. You don't... So you don't know this about Grimsby. Do you know <laughs> the gig that we do in Grimsby? Yeah, yeah. We've done a gig with your friend, uh, oh, Dan Skinner. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Carl was on. Seventh gig. Right. And yeah. I died on my arse. But... <laughs> <laughs> you were on tonight, though. You're doing tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. a little bit on that. The, the, the Grimsby, Grimsby Town. Uh, no, no, Grimsby, no, what was, what was like, no, But it was at a new venue, this one. So we all, oh. so me, Dan Skinner, Cal, Angry Bob. <laughs> And yeah, you've got yeah. Bob, uh, Braden, Ross, Ross Braden, Braden, yeah, yeah, yeah. Braden you and know, and and another comedian, all all rammed into a small <laughs> oh, baby, baby changing room. Baby change for the baby, <laughs> within every time Bob moved his head when Dan was talking, the hairdryer went off. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, the last time we were in uh, Grimsby, we, we played at uh, Cleethorpes <laughs> FC. Yeah, and I came off stage and I must have done like nearly an hour or something, <laughs> and the woman in the dressing room. Bless you if you're watching. Uh, uh, she was helping out. I don't think she was running it, but she was certainly helping out. Said, um, "Yeah, how, how do you, how are they speaking Grimsby?" I do you know. What? That's the sort of Grimsby. Oh, yeah, I don't know. A bit it's like it's that. Grimsby, I, mean, I don't know. So it's a tricky she said, one. Say, like she said, um, I, oh, I, 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 I recorded it. I said, sorry, should I put it out on FaceTime? I said, what? What? Should I put it out on Facebook Live? I said, what? 
I beg your pardon. She said, yeah, I just, I just played it out on Facebook. I said, what, my whole routine? I said, yeah. She said, yeah, yeah. I said, why'd you do that? She said, all right, like I'm being really grand, you know, live streaming my acts. I mean, Jesus Christ. Class. There's, there's, there's nothing worse than when someone's videoing you and you've told them and you're trying your hardest yeah. to still be funny yeah, on yeah. stage, yeah. especially as an MC or something, or you've gone in the crowd and you're this funny guy and you're like, and you, everyone does the same old jokes, like, oh, do it. Do as the uh, Ted. Turn the camera off. Or you'll have to, I'll have to tell job seekers and all that. You'll have yeah. to. You do a few more jokes and they're still going. And in the end, in the end, in the end, in the end you're like. Fucking hell, mate! You're gonna turn him off. Right? Yeah. And then, and then, uh, and then, and then people like, oh, not very funny for a comedian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's like you're being really grand. Oh, all right. Yeah. Pardon me, you know. Well, we've spoken about it on most episodes about Calder. Uh, I, 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 me and Dan were talking you know, after Dan Skinner, weren't we? We were saying like, <laughs> like swollen as you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, this, was, this was not States, was it? No, not no, States. No no, 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 no. This was uh, Grimsby. It was about a week before that. Okay. Um, but so, so you've got to learn. That's all right, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Nah, well, yeah, it was, well, quite, had, was a were... massive learning curve, you know. Yeah, was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it was a good one because it gave us a slap around the head because <laughs> I've been, I was bad on the Valium and stuff, you know, and I haven't had one since. I'm fucking itching for one, mate. <laughs> if you've got any. I mean, it is really, it is really, really nerve wracking. I, I, for years, I felt sick from about lunchtime onwards. If I mm. Got a gig, yeah. absolutely. Do you still, yeah, still... yeah, all the time. Yeah, see, yeah. See, for me, so you, you, you are gigging a lot more than me at the moment. Obviously, I do gig a lot. I gig yeah. every week. Um, but you gig, you gig consistently, often. Um, and I always think when I, so when I was doing tour support and I was out every weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or whatever. Yeah. I found that my gigging, my nerves weren't as much because it yeah, was so right. much routine. Yeah, that's right. You get match fit, yeah. And, and like, I was like, well, I've done that last night and that worked, or that might not have worked. But you're just so used to being on, you're so used to different crowds every night that it just becomes a routine. Yeah. But then as soon as you have a few weeks off, or even if you go on that's holiday right. for a week, yes, you go abroad for a week, even if you go away for free, a few days, for some reason your brain's telling you, I yeah. haven't done that, and it's, it is weird. I, I didn't think... I know it sounds that, no, but I didn't I think do you'd get... No, I do get very nervous. I mean, the, the, the horror of getting on there and people going, you know, just see your faces going... He's not very funny, is he? You know, it's too, it's too yeah. hard. Particularly if you've travelled like mm. today, I've, yeah. you know, five, no, five but, hours driving I mean, or something. You've, you've got um, as, as the character obviously going out was Clinton. Um, yeah. Do you not feel like you've got a bit of a shield on? Yes, that? yes, yeah. And when I was doing Barry, I, mean, I literally have a prosthetic face. Yeah. So you could sort of, if you die on your ass, you get a picture you of Barry just, from Watford you know, on just a, Barry from Watford just a short uh, it's, column. Uh, it's a very elderly man. I'll cut <laughs> me man, you see, very old. <laughs> and uh, so you know, you pull this face off, and you can escape out the back. Oh, that's but it, you know, on. in the old days, when I, I probably spoke this before to you that. Um, you know, I used to do like jonglers. There was Barry, there God, old man and old, old <laughs> geezer. That's my prosthetic face. It's like a, new, like, it's like a news reporter. Isn't it? It's a bell. Imagine, like I must find the wife. Anyway, the thing is, the. Um, was it expensive, the fees? Yeah, 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 really. It's good, that, isn't it? Yeah, well, um, that guy who, who makes the face, you know, he used to do. Do you remember? Yeah, you're quite young. Remember French and Saunders? They dressed up as Bross and they dressed up as these old right. ladies. Yeah, 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 I know. And uh, Max Headroom so, in the 80s, he made. That. Is that one face that you've put on then, and then it, it, it sort of goes down there with the old turkey neck there, <laughs> less and yeah. less need to actually <laughs> yeah. buy the thing now. Yeah. yeah, thank you for demonstrating the turkey neck there. Not his first body. It's going to be circling round. But it's so, is it an ex, is it a, a separate wig? It's yeah. Yeah, it's a separate wig. I mean, you don't just put and the uh, put the fit. Put some, put the, <laughs> I know, but what I'm saying is because it looks so obviously so real. Yeah. I still use it, that wig, yeah. No, yeah. so do you put do you put the the face on and then it just fits to you now? It's what it, it look. It goes sort of round there yep. and down the sides there, and you fill in all this here and those teeth I had made once for something I did for BBC many years ago. But I really do want to bring Barry back. The truth is, it's such a. I mean, it's expensive to keep. You yeah. know that mask doesn't really last. You have to chuck it away pretty yeah, much straight yeah. away. Although I pick the glue off the back and reuse them because they're quite expensive. Yeah. But um, you know, the honest truth is, as I'm getting older, as less I don't have to use it as much. And I, and it's, and although you think yeah, you can hide behind this mask literally, 
it's there's something about when you're going up to the audience, some people are like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know? I mean, I don't mind you standing back there doing it, but don't speak to me with that <laughs> yeah. face. Uh, so, I mean, I'm definitely going to do more Barry, but but not yet. And then if you're going to Clinton Baptiste, I mean, I, the first time I met Alex, when I first started to work with him, you had the wig, I remember you. I was laughing because you brought the wig on the, uh, the what's it called, on. on the mannequin's head. And like and, and it's such an expensive wig, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the, look at the way it like goes. Like it, it looks like yeah, it does look it really gives you a real. What's, what's, what's terrible about that thing is I look like I've got a slow eye. One, one of my eyes is. I <laughs> often get pictures like that. Where you, you think <laughs> what's gone wrong? There? Uh -huh. What's the expression? One, one eye. Does, does that happen? Go on, go on, one one eye is paying the driver. The other one's trying to find the seat. Maybe that one. Yeah, click on that one or that one above where you got the got it brushed up. Where you got the hair? Not that one. That's that's. That's the original one, yeah. Right. There, it looks so real. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, it's a really good wig. It's a really good wig. And um, Peter K, let me have that from the show we did. Yeah, it's a great wig. But uh, yeah, do you have to condition it in that? Like a proper I hair. I get someone to do it. Uh -huh. I get someone but to do it. But does it have that. to be conditioned? It does do, is yeah, it real, real, real hair? And they get all the glue off it. Uh, it yeah, I mean. I can't be trusted to look after these things. You know, it's like you're up and down the country, just shove it in a case. Have you ever oh, forgot your wig at a gig? Oh, man, that would be a nightmare. Oh, no, I did. I forgot all my makeup and everything when I was doing Barry once. And I'll name this comedian for you later who was doing this gig. And we can edit it out if you need. It will go, dude. You'll just edit it out. His name is. Right. right. And I did a gig with him. And at the end of it, he came up and he said, What was that? I said, What? So, what was that? I said, well, I'm, I'm only human. I forgot the stuff. You know, I still did the routine. He went, well, if I, if I employed Nina Conti and she brought the doll <laughs> and, she didn't, and she didn't do anything with the doll, you know, I'd want my money back. I said, all right, just take the money. Keep the money. I don't care. Can you keep you know. it as well? Yeah, but we're great mates now. Oh, yeah. But for a while, every time I saw it, I thought, uh, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean that is the only problem with you. You, you can get on stage. You don't have to worry mm. about. It, you just kind of do your stuff. Yes, but I have all yeah. sorts of shit out in the car. There, <laughs> there's yeah. props and uh, my 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 only worry about that is I always uh, drive to the gig in like Crocs or multicolored yeah. multicolored Crocs. Multicolored. Multicolored. And I always are in a pair of shorts <laughs> and I or something or a pair of tracksuit bottoms and joggers like yourself. And then I always have this fear of getting to the gig. And thinking, what happens if I forgot me? So when I was yeah. on with Frank Bruno the other day, and you've got to be smart when you're on with him because he's wearing smart, and everyone's wearing smart in the crowd. Yeah, I had yeah. this fear of getting at the gig and thinking, imagine if I had to go on with a pair of multicoloured Crocs. Or, do you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like, who's yeah. this dickhead who's what done was it? What was he like, Frank? Lovely. He's a really, really nice guy. Really? Still, when you look at him, you just think he would punch your lips off. Do you know when you just really, think, you, yeah. know when you, you know when you're talking to someone? I said that to you, didn't I? I said he's just like, you just, you just can tell he's a big unit. Cal, do you know anything about? Boxing. Nah. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> these go on about boxing all the time. And I, I just try and chip in, me. I mean, ah, it's good, but it's good, good overhand, right? That, like, you know, it's solid job. Keep the job, I was, you know? Yeah, I don't really know anything about it. I was hoping no. you were going to talk about it for a bit. And, uh, I could Aye. just nod along. Aye. No, like I said, as a, as a guy, and he's, promo he's promoting her, uh, his, his mental health, which is really good as well. He promotes about going through the bad times. He was talking about, like, like the really bad times he's had, which was great. I thought it was. It shows that he's vulnerable. I think he's the first person, really, as a sportsman, yeah. to go out and talk about the issues he's had from like bipolar, mental health stuff, and, and then Tyson Fury sort of, sort of copied that and not he, copied it. That's he's got. He's got. <laughs> fucking hell, the beef has just started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking do you, you dosser. <laughs> you big dosser. <laughs> James Kilvernan's just started a beef with Tyson Fury. That's me out of here. <laughs> And if you listen to I Love Tyson Fury. Tyson <laughs> so Fury and Frank Brown both got problems with bipolar because they've been smacked around the head quite a lot. <laughs> I mean, I've got kids and it's now three way. Ding, 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 ding. Cancelled. It's a bipolar uh, world heavyweight. Uh, come on. In the blue corner with ADHD, autism, and bipolar. In the blues corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set them up, you knock them down. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Do you know I do? I do. I said this to Frank when we were talking. I said I do reckon a lot of boxers do have a lot of obviously, but it's just like comedians. I think a lot of boxers have a lot of maybe underlying wow. issues. Maybe I don't know. I yeah, think, I think comedians have them as well. A lot of them like like ADHD. 
Um, I think well, they've got to. I mean, to do what, to go into a ring yeah. and fight someone, and to go on stage and try and make someone laugh. Yeah. To like go, haha, look at <laughs> me. Why? What is it that's inside a human? <laughs> what goes on a raised platform in front of yeah. other other like human entities and just waffles? Yeah. And the humans laugh. It's such no, a I mean, mad what thing. Is it for? I mean, you do have to ask yourself, what is it in your uh, upbringing mm -hmm. that you seem to Deep require? Deep line trauma. Yeah. Yeah. What trauma rude, man. that you need either people to respect. <laughs> because you're really hard <laughs> or because you're funny or something. Respect you because you're... You it is not. Is that what it is? It's so similar. It's exactly it? that. You see, you need love from some... from these <laughs> random... total randomers. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's it's, it's really... So... I take my hat off to people who don't need that. Because I've got... <laughs> anyone who does I, do, I, do, I don't... I can totally... No, I was, it's I was, so I was, funny <laughs> Hi, I'm Colin Ankrum, and I've got some brand new, wicked, fucking wicked cool news for you. You can subscribe to the Patreon, which helps us pay for these podcast episodes. We've got merch over there. There's discount on the merch over there. There's extra new, brand new live podcast episodes. We've got it all. Fuck Philip Laycock, and let's get on with the podcast. Come on. I had this conversation with my girlfriend the other day that I envy people who don't yeah. need that sort of... Because I've done both. I've done boxing when I really, deep down, when I was going in the ring, yeah, I was yeah. thinking, fucking hell. Yeah. I've got to go fight this, yeah. Do you know, like, <laughs> And then, like, don't, don't get me wrong, when you win, you're like, oh, it's like having a great gig. It's like, oh, man, you feel like... You Elation. Feel, oh, you yeah. feel like it's... Because I've never touched drugs. And my mate was heavy on drugs before he'd done boxing, mm. and he said to me that there's no adrenaline... He's never done comedy. But he said there's no adrenaline or buzz mm. like a boxing fight. He said and he took ecstasy, yeah. he took cocaine, he took everything. He's, He's obviously never took enough, has he? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> no, but he, he, we were talking about the big laugh thing, and that is like when yeah. you get a big laugh, it's oh, like wow. Yeah. It's, it so, is similar to ecstasy. Yeah. Is it? Very similar for them few seconds when when you're coming up on ecstasy. What about, your, very, what about your first one when you did your first gig? Was that like a same feeling? Because you're buzzing sometimes. That was mad, that, you know, that made me first one because I was just loaded on the way down. I was driving down. I was like <laughs> fucking shaking all the yeah, way down. Yeah, yeah, I was putting yeah. diesel in me van like yeah, that. Yeah. And then, and then I, oh. I popped a few Valium and I got there. I had a few pints. I had an edible. And then I yeah. fucking... <laughs> he kept on coming up, wasn't put me his hand on my shoulder, and he was like, "Are you all right?" And I was like, "Yes, Jim. Oh, I'm it's... good. I'm good. We'll be part of the water like that." <laughs> but you know, um, we we, we did uh, Phoenix Nights live at Manchester <clears throat> Arena, fourteen thousand people. <clears throat> That's and, big. And because it was for comic relief, the only rehearsals we'd had, like two days rehearsals in Wakefield in a big sort of aeroplane hangar and so we're all a bit kind of casual about it and it's like oh well it's only comic relief it'll be all right and uh there was an auto cue you know to read the lines but of course my thing going out as clinton into the audience you can't there's no auto cue you've just got to leave it and go and chat to people and occasionally they'll say something back and i have never you know the sort of nerves where your lip is stuck mm. to your teeth. Yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And I was under this stage, and, and they, they kind of pushed me up in this trap door, and I sort of came out with this dry <laughs> ice like that. And so, you know, the absolute <laughs> sheer... <laughs> really try not to be sick. He stuck to the old uh, lips. How many it people, was how many, horrific. Uh, how many people was there? 14,000. 14, <laughs> and you come out... <laughs> And you're thinking, oh, don't fuck this up. Please don't fuck this up. Imagine you. dying like, like oh, a proper you death in front. You, you went on for... Obviously, we can bleep his name out if you want, but you went on for... <laughs> didn't you? And you, had a, you didn't like them. You didn't, obviously... You didn't... You didn't no, because you... <laughs> what did it? Tell us about it. Because no, I went on... the cross? Yeah. I went on for a well-known comedian. I'm not going to say his name. Yeah, yeah. I was supporting him. <laughs> and I thought, oh, they're, they're going to be my sort of crowd. And it was down in Bath in the, in the 1700-seater. And I thought it was going to be right. And the night before, I'd done a really great gig for the homeless in Wolverhampton. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Narcissist. <laughs> Narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Which was lovely. Of course, I gave my fee for... <laughs> Charity. <laughs> Charity. <laughs> so I went... <laughs> He's a hero! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you will never see the likes of this again. <laughs> so I went, I drove down there and I thought, oh, I'm, I, you know, I thought, I'm king of the world, this is going to be great, this. This is great. I'm very, very funny and very caring. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Karen. Anyway, I got down there and 
the first thing is like you can't go in the audience because the, the 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 circle goes over the. Uh, goes over the stalls. Should we just do one more? <laughs> That's the stalls. The circle. The circle. The circle. Stalls. Anyway, this comedian went on beforehand. Yeah. And he did 25 bloody minutes before I came on. I'm sitting in the wings again. It's going to be good. And as, as the time went on, I was thinking, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to want to see me. You know? They're not going to stop and go. And, and now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Clinton back to you. Like, hey, I thought the show stopped. There's this prick. You know? So I went on. And the first thing someone goes is uh, Jimmy Savile. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was kind of all right, but it really threw me, you know. I mean, you kind of, I kind of dealt with it. And it was just a blood. The whole thing was a nightmare. I mean, I just... But you know what? I came back the next week. Yeah! <laughs> Trooper. <laughs> Trooper. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah but it's tough that. So, if you, when, I mean, you might end up supporting mm. some big comedian, mm. yeah. and uh, it's a little bit of a hiding to nothing because you think, oh, they'll be all right. But all they want you to do is whip up the audience. They're not yeah. interested in yeah. you particularly, yeah. just for the next guy to come mm. on and the, the, ride on it. That's his little fucking polite thing to remind me there when I'm going on <laughs> <laughs> Subtlety. <laughs> Subtlety. <laughs> Subtlety. <laughs> Yeah. That's all they want. Don't forget. <laughs> They're waiting for me. They're waiting for me. <laughs> oh, oh, so, uh, when when my I think it was like my, my I'd only been gigging a couple of times, similar to you, and someone said to me, Oh, do you wanna it was a good friend of mine now, lovely guy in the comedy industry, you probably worked with him, Patrick Monaghan. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> His yeah. name's getting beeped out as well. So it's just... <laughs> it doesn't matter. Go on. I did. I did a terrible gig with him once. Yeah, so for all genres. Genres. So... Jeez. Oh, go so, on. So, anyway, um, someone gets in touch with me, and he, I've just started comedy. I've been going a couple of months, and someone says, oh, oh there's a guy on the telly doing it. Me mate's pub. Right. He's doing it for his birthday, his 50th birthday. His mate was a dentist. He owned, well, he owned, a, he owned a few dentists. And he said... Um, Oh, it's like a, a suit, all in suit and that. So I put, oh. so I put me. Oh, we'll get the picture of this. Definitely remind me to put the picture up on the screen because we'll get it. <laughs> uh, we won't have it now, but I'll put it on in the podcast. And um, so I put a fucking suit. Imagine me in a suit. I'm oh. sorry, do you know on stick? <laughs> so I put a suit on. He says, "Oh, just come down for the experience, even if you do ten minutes." So I've been doing comedy clubs. Just started been doing Matty's laughing pug and a mm. few others, and all my gigs have been going great because I've been doing it to a comedy audience. So I turn up and it was one of them gigs where it was hot as well. So I got to the and I looked like a fucking bodyguard. My hair like this, fucking yeah. suit on like that, walking in stiff <laughs> as a board. And as I walked in, everyone was like, it was really posh venue, and they were going, um, "Oh hello, yes. Oh, how do you know that? Are you on the are you on the guest list?" And, and I was like, "Oh no, I said, uh, I'm I'm the, one of the comedians." And he's like, "Oh great, great to meet you. You're on with Patrick." And I was like, "Yeah." yeah so they'd paid for Patrick as I did. <laughs> he was like the, he was just like Patrick coming to do they a, a spot. They hadn't paid for you. No, I was brand new. I oh, was just okay. so this was experience. This guy, you just said, "Oh, come along, it's me, mate." Yeah, yeah. But this guy didn't even know I was coming. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, wow! Do you get what I'm like when someone brings a guitar at the party that you don't want, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? So, like, you could be, oh no! I was the guitar. Oh, yeah. God! I invited new, not your guitar, son. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> so I turn up and then he like, introduces me, and you can tell this guy doesn't know the fuck I am, and he's like, yeah. "Oh, he's James and yeah. for his birthday." And I'm like, oh. "I'm like, hey, mate, alright." He's like, "Oh, he's like," and he's talking, and he's like, "Oh, the Canadian." I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "How long have you been doing it, son?" And that's his like. A few more, you know, like, like oh, do you know? Did, did and you, I just, oh, wait there. So I just knew. So I'm in a suit. I'm stood in the fucking corner of this pub, right? <laughs> Everyone, everyone's walking in. It's like a posh restaurant in Maltby. And everyone's walking in. They're all talking. So we're all drinking drinks with cucumbers in the glass and, and all. And, and, and I'm like, do you want a drink? I was like, oh, just a water, please. And I'm sat in the corner. I'm just nodding at people coming in. They're all about 60 year old, 50 to 60, oh, pro- probably like 50 to 60 year old. Patrick Walters in. He's got a pair of Converse on, a pair of skinny jeans on, just a, a T-shirt, like a Ralph Lauren T-shirt, or whatever, just a cas- casual smarties. He's like, hello, mate. He's like, hey, yeah. mate, I, 
Oh, oh, the comedian, yeah, I've heard you great, yeah. And I'm thinking, no, you haven't. That's what I thought. Well, I thought. Like, thank you. But, you know, and he goes, yeah, so do you want me to go on first? Or, because I've got to get back to London, you see. Or do you want to do you want to go on first? And, and I don't have a clue oh, at the time. so he went on first. I don't have a clue at the time. And he said, and I said, oh, well, yeah, yeah, if you've got to get back to London, you go on. Oh, you know, no. Stitcher. Oh, <laughs> so Christ. I'm, so I'm fucking... Yeah. I'm sat, stood there at the bar, right? <coughs> he starts and he's yeah, just very, very smashing good. it. Yeah, he's just brilliant. smashing it. He's been on the telly. He's done all the telly. Yeah. He's, he's smashing it. He does an hour, oh, right? Christ. Do you know where I'm stood the whole time? Right? <laughs> Behind him. <laughs> so the whole crowd. So I just look like his bodyguard. <laughs> Every now and again, nervously laughing because I don't, I'm shitting myself, <laughs> oh, thinking like I'm Christ. gonna go on. The whole time I'm listening to his act and I'm thinking he's never swore once, you know. And, then and you're look, doing all your effort in Jeff. Because I'm, and, and obviously it was when yeah. I was very first. Starting. And when you're very nervous, you end up, you do that. When you, you but when you, but when you're very first start and you swear lords when you yeah. first start. That's what you said to me last week. Yeah. One is just. Yeah, he's on the swear in a bit. <laughs> I was like, fucking every fucking every fucking and the fucking and the fucking bastard. The fucking but then bastard. I said that. And then I went, I, I said that, and I come on and call someone a fucking nonce. I went up and I'm like, oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> But, but like, no, you do, when you do, you, you, you yeah. calm down. The more you've done comedy, you sort of stop swearing as much and you swear into more of your punchy stuff if you're saying something. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't know this then. Um, he hasn't sworn once, he's kept it clean. He kept doing things like this guy kept going to the toilet. He's like, oh, look, he's off again. And everyone was laughing. Ha, 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 great. And it yeah. was funny, it was funny. And he's like, where's he going? And <laughs> what was your version of that joke? <laughs> like, he's, he's, he's having his shit. He's off for a fucking lady <laughs> to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would have said. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so he finishes his set. There's a f so where the way the set the way he was he stood here, he yeah. stood here. They're all here. There's a bar here, and he got the bar goes like that, like a court, like just a normal bar. So I'm stood here. He stood there. They're all here. He finishes his set and says, "Thank you very much." Everyone starts saying, "Well done," giving him a big cheer, oh. and all piling around the free bar, yeah. the free bar. Oh, and he no. goes, so he goes, he goes, <laughs> so he goes. Oh, before I go. There's a new comedian, he's having a new, he said, so give him some respect, he's going to come on now and do, you're going to do five or ten, and he's going to come on, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, and I'm stood behind, he goes, he goes, James Kilman, James Kilman, and like that, and I, and I walk, he goes, good luck, pal, like, and I go, cheers, mate, I walk on, he's like, walked off, I've got no mic control, do you know, like, of, of anything, so I don't even know where to hold the proper mic, and it's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> And everyone's like, but everyone stopped and say, who's this dickhead who's on now, do you know, like, we want a drink, we want to get on with the night. And I was like, opening line, opening line. I went, fucking hell. <laughs> the, open, the opening line, instead of saying hi, What's fucking hell. <laughs> it's posh in here. <laughs> that cunt's got a cucumber in his drink. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like, nothing I'd planned. I hadn't even thought about that before I went on, I just said it. And it was just like, you know, people yeah. looking at me, and this lad at the back, these young lads were really laughing, do you know, like... And then I said, and then this other guy got up, and I was like, fuck me, is that a James Bond villain? And it was just like, and this woman was like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just started doing jokes about, about like, losing your virginity. <laughs> like, oh, Christ. Then, <laughs> do, do you know, like, do you know when you very first start comedy, and, like, as you just talk about sex, and, like, you think it's going to be, oh, everyone will find that funny, you know, like, and you start, and, like, and then I just was like, I just, like, rushed it off, I said, oh, I've, uh, oh, anyway, that'll do me. I said, you probably want to get a drink. I'll see you later. And, and this woman went, oh, maybe, um, maybe his comedy isn't your thing. I was like, oh, <laughs> so, right. You know, after, I was like, fuck But off. there are those comedians, who, you know, young <coughs> comedians just starting, here I am talking like I'm the bloody expert on it, <coughs> who do the, um, I know what I'll do. I'll say the most disgusting thing I can think of. And you're, that's not really funny. That's just horrible, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, when I started, um, what's his name? Can't remember his bloody name. Sean Mio. And uh, I was doing some stuff for jonglers. And I just, and I did Nottingham Jonglers, which is a massive barn of a place where there's big, like, huge tankards of beer and waitresses. And it's just enormous. And it was, it was way before I was ready to do it. And uh, the next day, you know, I just thought, I was really embarrassed to ask him, but I said, it didn't go that well. At the hotel, I just said, you know, can we just, would you mind if we just went through my material? And he went, okay. And he's, he sort of went, not that, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and all my bits, that's disgusting, that's horrible. What do you say there? You know, it's like, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, right. That got to the next night as well. You 
know, I'm down for sort of 25 minutes. <laughs> I've got five minutes left. <laughs> it was all disgusting, you know. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Rob Brydon. And the other one like that was I, I supported Rob Brydon. Yeah, yeah. And on the way up, we met at King's Cross, and he was very kind. He said, now, I'm going to... Well, we'll go in the... <laughs> this is my impression of Rob Brydon. <laughs> we'll go in first class, and we, on the way up, we're talking about what I'm going to do in this show. And so he said, well, I'm doing this, 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 and this. And, and then we went through his stuff, and I thought, oh, yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> now, now, what, <laughs> now what, what, are you, <laughs> what are you going to be doing? <laughs> <laughs> so so it. Uh, no, no. Uh, actually, if you, if you would not say that there, because right, okay, right. and then I go in the audience. Oh, actually, I, I'd rather you didn't go into the audience. <laughs> That's most of my act. All right, okay. Oh, actually, I do a joke a bit like that in the first half, so don't say that. Pulled in at Leeds, I was like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Again, I've got five minutes <laughs> yeah. left. That's it. You know, horrible. And also talking the supporting thing, he and Rob. If you're listening, I'm very grateful to you. Thank you. Gratitude. Platitude. In sincerity. <laughs> no, but Rob. So we got there. Uh, and this is the other thing. He didn't introduce that there was a support act. You know, this is not a sort No one knew it was a support act. They're all there to see Rob Brydon. And then they go, uh, and now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the support for tonight, uh, Clinton Baptiste. And you hear that sound echoing, echoing my footsteps on the stage. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> oh God, it was horrific. It was, I can't tell you. Oh jeez. What ain't like nothing? No, I'm mean, sort of laughing. But that, the other danger with my act is, you know, unless you very, if you're just gonna do, I did do going into the audience. If you just do that, after a while, people start going. People start going. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Instead of sort of playing along and going, look, yeah. you're just a stooge yeah. in my sketch. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> if you like. If you like. It's like, well, all right. Well, it's not if I like. Yeah, I'm clearly playing a character. You know? Yeah, if you like, yeah. It's all if you like. It's all pretend. Even Rob is making it up. His, you know, his little thing about something that happened didn't really happen. Yeah, it's all pretend. Hi, I'm Colin Ankrum, and I've got some brand new wicked fucking wicked cool news for you you can subscribe to the patreon which helps us pay for these podcast episodes we've got merch over there there's discount on the merch over there there's extra new brand new live podcast episodes we've got it all fuck philip laycock and let's get on with the podcast come on <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's what's so mad about comedy is when when you do make something up obviously because some stuff's like i was watching um like a lot of comedians and sometimes they make it that they make it that good like even your stuff and everyone else that you believe it's real. And sometimes it is just totally made up and people don't understand that, do they? That's when they're right, watching yeah, you on stage, yeah. you'll do a joke and you might say something like, I do that Geordie joke, obviously. And yeah. then the people come up to me after and say, Oh, did you did you last really headbutt you in the back? <laughs> in, the, in the back of you, in the back. Were you talking like a Geordie to some girl? Yeah. But and that is you... always the danger. I mean, just just to get serious <laughs> for a while, <laughs> You know, this is the thing with the sort of getting cancelled thing. Yeah. I play a, an idiot character. Yeah, you know, he's, a, he's stupid. He says stupid things, and that is in a in, in an environment which uh, you know you can say it because it's not me saying. Yeah, it. yeah. It's this blonde pons who wears a white <laughs> <laughs> overly defensive <laughs> <It's> strategy. <laughs> but you know, like um, Simon Day said this to me. You know, I might have said this before. Simon, Strategical racism. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simon Day was saying about a character he does, Tommy Cockles. Do you remember Tommy Cockles? Yeah, yeah. So he he said he had a gag where he'd be on, he, he plays Tommy Cockles, and he says, I was on the train going past all the backs of the houses, all owned by foreigners who were all born here. <laughs> right. Right. Now, that is, that is a great character moment. It's a tiny character moment yeah. of someone who, you know, is he being racist, isn't he? Whatever, the character is trying to justify. Yeah. He says, nowadays, where that was a lovely little bit of character note, a second. Now he gets the audience going, ha ha. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What do we think of that? Not, what do we think? Do we think that's right? Do, yeah. we, do we think that's right? It's like, just 
It's not him. Yeah. It's not even racist. It's just a, <laughs> it's just a thing that a lot of people might say, you know, lest you think I'm being racist, I'll just drop this Yeah, in. yeah. It's like we, we watched the... On the podcast before we watched the Harry Enfield sketch, didn't we? The the homophobic mm. dad. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's a great sketch. But it, like you were saying, like we were saying, oh, I probably wouldn't be shown this days. But the joke in that is is like someone being thick and that he's naive like, to like, the that situation. Naive to like homophobic, you know? Yeah. That's it's making like, more. It's more. It's, it's a mockery more, of the guy yeah, of course who's, it who's, is. who's of course like. It is. And like we were just saying, sometimes the joke. It's a character. It's but a joke. That, that's where people who are easily offended will see it from their. They, do you know that thing they've got? So that them them are offended straight away by what's being said. Because it's in that category. Did you, you ever know? do any yeah. Harry Enfield? Any work with Harry Enfield? I've worked with Harry Enfield a few times. Yeah. I did. Oh, um, I did a thing with him. Well, I did a live thing with him in London, uh, where um, what's his name? God, the former Chancellor of the Exchequer. Uh, oh yeah, anyway, that, he guy. Was, that guy. Oh, him. He was no. in the front row. What's his name? Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, he was in the front row. Uh, you'll know him. He's so fucking guess who this is. <laughs> anyway, it's big Tory. Anyway, he was it was a charity event. We're looking up Chancellor the Exchequer. It yeah. could be any one of many. No, not Jeremy Hunt. <laughs> Images. I'll tell you it was. I'll tell you it was. It Go was uh, none of those either. Norman Lamont. Norman Lamont. Do you think any of our fans are going to know him? <laughs> <laughs> no. no like, who the fuck's this? Like, no, fuck, what's a Chancellor? <laughs> anyway, Chancellor. A fucking Exchequer's Chancellor. What's that like? He's a fucking Chancellor. <laughs> anyway, Norman Lamont. <laughs> was there and I just remember Harry and, and Norman Mont is now retired and he was raising money for this charity oh. <laughs> Charity, man. Charity. And uh, Harry Enfield came on and did the... Oh, God, it was so embarrassing. And he was going... He, he did loads of money. You remember loads yeah, of money? <laughs> yeah, and he was doing loads of money. <laughs> and he's going, you know, there's a lot... You know, people were wondering where I was. I was in Saudi. I was in Saudi. And people were saying, you know, that uh, it's very progressive there. Nowadays, they're letting women go on the road, you know, on their own in a car past the driving test. To be honest, that's the fucking reason I... I left. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Norman Lamont's there, and he goes something like Norman Lamont, something like she said, uh, I like that Theresa May. One fucker, though. And you're like, <laughs> I mean, it was like, it wasn't particularly clever. It was just horrible. <laughs> and Norman, poor Norman Lamont. I mean, I'm, no, I'm not Tory, but he, he was there. Not, not a Tory. <laughs> He's a fucking <laughs> labour man, isn't he? He's a labour man. <laughs> fucking born and bred labour man. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it was really crude, really crude stuff. And I thought, bloody hell. I mean, for someone like him, he's a, a major British yeah. star. <laughs> and he's still doing that stuff. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I was Norman Lamont. What a as, as much as I um, <clears throat> watched Harry Enfield and Chums and that when I was younger, I haven't read much upon Harry uh, on his background. Was he, was he a comedian? A stand-up? Uh, yeah, I think he was. He, he yeah. Did you? I mean, he was mates stand- with uh, Paul Whitehouse. Paul, yeah. Not Paul Whitehouse. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, like, um, he does the fishing with Bob Martin. Have you watched the fishing program? Yeah, it's very good. Good, it's nice and relaxing. Have you watched that? No, me dad. Me dad keeps on banging on for us to watch it. Like, relax. It's a chiller. Do you know what you just? Do you know me dad didn't actually share any of me stuff till I got that fucking video of James and you. What was that? You know, really? He liked it. He liked it. He's like, how many follow? How many followers did you? What's that? How many followers did you build? Fab? I've got I've got about half a million on Facebook, but all, in all total I've got about eight hundred k, eight hundred and fifty k. Fantastic. But my dad's in, oh yes, yeah. <laughs> self appreciation. <laughs> um, but when we done that video when we were with as Clinton, and yeah, you said yeah. Ginger Cal and friends, and you said oh, yeah. getting, and you done and I said it's a cow. That was the first time his dad's ever shared anything of his. Thank you. I, I, I good, just, I just good. seen, I just see, I was scrolling down my newsfeed and it just says Craig Antrim shared your post. Now I, <laughs> I thought it was going to be something I'd done. It was you. Oh, oh God. God. Well, Sorry. anyway, thank you. So oh, well, thank, you, thank you, thank you. It's nice to be asked. His dad's taking him serious <laughs> now. His dad's finally taking his career serious. Is your dad, your dad coming tonight? To no, I, no, he doesn't come to watch now. Oh, like. He's, not, he's, he's right. not there yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we well, don't have a bloody comedy. Uh, so that be, is part. The problem, isn't it? Mm. You know that that I mean, my parents were the same. Mm. Don't come and see me doing mm. stuff. My mum came to see me doing a Barry from Watford thing, and it was and parts of it were a little bit ropey, but it was like a whole evening with you know different cabaret. And she just said, "I said, what do you think?" 
Yeah, it's rubbish. <laughs> and you're like, oh, all right. <laughs> and that is why... <laughs> all I... the other people who were laughing didn't think that. Everyone else was laughing. <laughs> Don't come in. Don't come. You know, I mean... Uh... But that's the same thing. It's the same principle, isn't it? It's only if there's something lacking in your family life. Yeah, yeah. This, <laughs> my mum and dad support me, but it's a psychology. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I don't think it's like it's not taken as like a serious job, is it? Until yeah. you until you start making a bit of money off it. No, but I mean there are times. You know, I do stuff with Dan Skinner, and we do like a double act. I mean, I'm 55, and... <laughs> anyway, I'm 55. But yeah, there are people at my age who are doing triple heart bypass surgery. And this Dan yeah. said to me, right, go to that gay shop in Broadwick Street. We need a double-headed dildo for tonight. Can you get something that looks like a knob? It's like, oh, God. You know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> Stupid props are like a knob on someone's fuck... arse or something. You can't become a heart surgeon now, though, can you? I can't. <laughs> no one's going to employ me to do that. That's the great thing. <laughs> but, you know, getting my props together and my kids... What are you doing, Daddy? I'm just I'm just making a paper mask. And a wig and a double end that falls yeah, out. Yeah, I've got a double end there, yeah. Uh, but, 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 anyone seen that? Well, there's actually a post on Facebook because one of my first videos were actually flew. Um, we had a dildo tight, we'd drawn him with fluid around around the burn, <laughs> around the old area. And my dad had put a post on and he put, seen my son down Walls End burnt a day with a fake penis hanging from a drone. Oh. Then two dots and they're not even in the least bit surprised. <laughs> <laughs> At least he shared that. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's at the point when I was still a disappointment man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, fl I, fl I flew it out of Mount Sainer's house, he was walking his dog in, he just, he had a big joint in his hand, and he was walking, he walked his border con, he just looked at him and he went, you're not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> just carried on walking. <laughs> that school funny. said you'd amount to nothing. Look at you now, eh? <laughs> you're not your dad, even your dad, your dad, your dad, uh, Is it a professor your dad is? Professor in yeah. criminology at TC Uni, <laughs> he's a yeah. small, educated man, me old man, like. <laughs> But he's, he's mad, he's so laid back, man, like the most laid back bloke in the world. I remember when I was about 15, I had a fight in the street <laughs> with these two fucking, they were a bit older than me, and the one came along and he had a hammer and a bit of wood, and my dad stoned up his tits, just looked out the window, and he went, well, I'll tell you something to do, build with a fence, son, has he? <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd run the field of fight, now. He's just, he's just mad, he's a lovely bloke. But you're not a fight, right? Yeah. No, 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 I don't like confrontation. I get oh, shaking no. off arguments, me. I don't think oh, anyone yeah. likes confrontation. I think if you so, no, some people do. There is aggressive fight at humans out there. They love it. Yeah, mm. some Usually people calling people dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really, I hate that. I really, Aye. there's a surprise. Yeah, uh, but It no. is what it is. You do get them humans. It's real, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They thrive off it's some people the fries of the, the do don't they yeah 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 <clears throat> bought, people who are bored with their life i think it is gotta be you're it's right. got I mean, no better to do <laughs> you don't really i mean rarely touch wood <clears throat> no, there's a, a gig it doesn't you don't really well there's the woman who threw a punch yeah there's a woman who went uh, punch me but, but, but rarely there's anything that's a good video with that <laughs> that's a great oh, we've video. played that on the pod we haven't played it yet oh no. you've got to play it yeah we've played today but <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah. want to make it all about me we've got to get <laughs> narcissism <laughs> avoided <laughs> But, you know, I, I, I'll quickly tell the story. That, that there was the guy, last time, I'll tell it, at uh, Winchester, yeah, yeah. who came after me. He's a French guy who... Uh, to tell colours. There's a bit I was doing in the act where... Uh, I, I turned up this school, really, really posh school in Winchester, and there must have been three, four hundred people there on tables, you know, like um, parent, teacher, staff, uh, you know, the board of governors at this school. And I was a bit nervous about going on. Some really good comedians on. James Gill was on, Mike Cox, and these people were there. And I was headlining, and I said to my agent, it's not right for the... Uh, he was producing it. It's not right for swearing. I'm not going to do the swearing. I'm not going to do the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> James Gill being... Oh, fucking hell. So, uh, I said, well, they said, oh, I assure you, it's fine. Someone's already dropped the F-bomb early on. You'll be all right. I went out there, and this bloke went, Jacko, can you contact Michael Jackson? So I said, I said, I'll come to you in a minute. And I went up to him and did a thing that I have occasionally do, which is, who said that? And the, ta the table's parted. I said, what's your name, mate? He said, Pascal. I said, yeah, it's someone called Dave. He says, you're a cunt, right? <laughs> anyway, he took it very badly. 
Really? Really badly. Really? I wouldn't shut up and was shouting, shouting. And then people are shouting at him. And at the end of it, I went to get off the stage and to my horror, he got up and starts coming towards me. Mm. 300 people of his contemporaries there, all telling him to sit down. And I thought, this is only a comedy act. I've got, you know, my long blonde hair. I'm clearly, you know, playing an idiot character. And I suddenly thought, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stop him. I <laughs> sprinted out of the room with my hair <laughs> holding a sort of bejeweled handbag. And uh, he came after me and he was really going to kill me. He was definitely going to kill me. And two days later, I had complete... My agent rugby tackled him. And two days later, I had compl- I was at a football match. And Where were you hit the... I was. I, I could, you can't get into classrooms, you know. Like it's all uh, <laughs> on a pad now. <laughs> I know, it's up next to this, uh, you know, a uh, 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 filing cabinet. <laughs> and I just and, and I sort of was laughing at the time. I thought this is so ridiculous. I kind of took my wig off, and um, I could hear all this. No, 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 you're not going down there. All this scuffle. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it, it was really frightening because two days later, I really suddenly thought the bloke must have been twenty years younger than me. He was really going to kill me. And I couldn't get it out of my head, this terrible moment. But, I, you know, the thing is that... That's what I'm saying. It's all pretend. Mm. It's all comedy. Mm. Yeah, it's not, there's nothing <laughs> real about me. I don't know who he is. Hi, I'm Colin Ankrum, and I've got some brand new, wicked, fucking wicked cool news for you. You can subscribe to the Patreon, which helps us pay for these podcast episodes. We've got merch over there. There's discount on the merch over there. There's extra new, brand new live podcast episodes. We've got it all. Fuck Philip Laycock, and let's get on with the podcast. Come on. I've done a gig in the Lake District before, and, and, and when I was <laughs> when I was coming out of this club, I, the audience had been quite rough and ready, to be honest. I've been going yeah. at them, going back and forth, doing my material. I've done the soft play joke... Um, I've done the soft play joke, and <laughs> I always, when I talk about the the kids at the soft play, I always just change oh, the foot, yeah. I always just change the football team shirt that yeah, one of the yeah. kids has got on, and I didn't know the the so if you say I was in Newcastle, I'd do Sunderland. If I was in ah, Sunderland, yeah, I'd do yeah. Newcastle. If I was in um, Manchester, maybe he's doing Manchester. Or, 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 yeah, Manchester City. Ah, yeah, well, yeah. you wouldn't actually do. I'd just do Liverpool. Adaptable. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> yes, I adapt. I'm a chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so, so I, I've done this joke, and I, and because I didn't actually know the football area, I just said Manchester United. I just oh. said the kids got a Manchester United top on. Got a big laugh off it. Done, huh. done the joke. The joke isn't even anything to do with football. <clears throat> it's just a you just mention a football kit on it. Mm. It's got nothing to do with just that little bit in the joke. Finished the set. Done really well. Get my gear. Gonna go home. Going to get out in the car. This guy, he's got a roll in his mouth. He goes, "All right, son." I said, oh, I, said "I was like, oh mate, I, do you know?" But like, you know, and you're thinking, "Is this going to be good or bad?" You know, like, you know. <laughs> so I'm just my car's over there, and I was like, "Hey, mate, all right." And he's like, "Yeah." He went, shook my hand. He went, but when he shook my hand, he shook it quite hard. Oh, and I was like, "I was like, all right, mate." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah." He went, "Good set, that kidder." He went, "I'll be honest with you though," he said, "Didn't like that fucking stuff about Man United." And I was like. I was like, oh, what? I said, what, Man United? I said, what, what bit? I said, oh, I, said, I, said, I said, what bit, what bit, mate, Man United? I said, uh, and I thought, I, just, I said, Man United, the football team? I said, oh, mate, I said, uh, we're not fucking 12 year old, are we? And I tapped him on the shoulder. Oh, I thought, Christ. I said, we're not 12 year old, are we? I said, uh, I said, just mentioned a football team. I said, oh, you use a different one tomorrow. I said, you use them all the time. He went, oh, yeah, he went, but in future, you went, lay off the Man United. <laughs> In future, you've came off a gig and you're In future, I must lay off. <laughs> He'd be the guy, wouldn't he? The troll, the trolls that we talk, I, we talk, we talk, I, we talk about trolls. Really. You've had a troll once, didn't you? Remember when you had a troll before? Oh, oh you love a troll. God, who? No, what? Not. Oh, you had a tr- that no, lady. You, oh, you've had a few trolls. Oh, I've had a lady. No, I'm about trolls on the internet, the comments. You oh, get, you get I've had a few. Yeah, you get a few kind of. Uh, Carl, Carl gets them. I get them. We get the really funny, the funny one. I the yeah, funny. yeah. You what, what was the one you said before? You thought it was really funny. It just suddenly you had all these 
five star reviews and then one said piss poor, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, piss poor. N not this for another 52 weeks or something like that. <laughs> Although I suspect that was my previous uh, producer. Uh, so uh, we, we have a guy, we have a guy who comes on and trolls Cal. Like, <laughs> really? really? He, he Philip Lake yeah. off. Philip Lake on, right? He trolls him, but then he <clears> trolls <throat> the next episode. So he, he waits and then he trolls and then an hour later uh, he trolls again. So it's like he's having his fix and then right. he's, he's going down shit and then he's coming back and doing some more trolling right. so, in but, the same day. And so he, because you, do you, do you really exactly the same time yeah same week, week so right so he's there oh, he's, <laughs> yeah, really. he's excited thick, <laughs> thick as mince shout out thick as mince shout yeah. out Philip Lee Cork <laughs> I felt yeah. fucking stunned <laughs> I had uh, there is a woman who oh god dare I say it, I don't want to encourage her but there was a woman who was <laughs> come on let's get them all out <laughs> who was, encouragement we'll, we'll get them on like blackheads we're just going to drown them up man <laughs> she was getting in touch with me on the every half an hour on uh, on direct messages on on Facebook and you know you try and put a block on it and then she because it's come up as Facebook user so you can it's very difficult to stop these people and then I was doing some gig in Hereford and, oh, it was a terrible thing where I thought, is she going to be here? And then afterwards someone said, there's some people in the bar I want to meet you. And I thought, oh, God, don't be her. And I got up there. And um, it's all the usual thing. A load of lads are, hey, come on, mate, a nonce. Come on, mate, a nonce. Hey, 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 you're a nonce, you're a nonce. And just as I was doing all this, hey, bit of pints and all that, she appeared next to me, pulling my sleeve, going, my friend died. I said, what? Hey, my friend died. <laughs> oh, no. My friend killed us. OK, I'll, just, I'll come to you in a minute. Come <laughs> hey, nonce. <stop. laughs> my friend killed us. Yeah, OK, OK. Oh, just a second, just a second. Oh, God, it was like a bloody nightmare. The worst... <laughs> Yeah, How but did you so, respond to that. Yeah, I, was, I mean, anyway, oh. I've, I, I've kind of managed to, you know, get a shot of her. <laughs> and I killed. <laughs> Government. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix series pending. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I hope she's gone. Jeez. <laughs> oh, she's gone. Oh, she, she's probably still wriggling in the fucking carpet, the back of a car somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but it's nice people are interested. I'm not being, uh, you know, I have spent a lot of my career no one giving two shits what I'm doing, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what, what I was going to say, I was going to say, if you could choose anyone that you haven't worked with as an actor uh, and you would like to, who who would you love to? Who, who would, you, would I love to work with? Yeah. Because you've worked oh, with some big names. Oh, I've worked with them all, me. I don't suppose they remember working with me particularly, but I was in the cast of... Uh, who would I like to work with? Um... Oh God, I can't think of because the more the it's more, hard when you get put on the spot. It is. Come, come back to it because the more I, more like obviously I've I've known you now. I've known you for a few years now. Yeah. And I see you pop up on random stuff, and I'm like, fuck, where's Alex? <laughs> you know, yeah, like, I know. You know, like, you know, like, well, I did, like, you, four you, films in my first four years of being an actor, four feature films. I did Peter's Friends yep. with Kenneth Branagh and Much to Do About Nothing, Frankenstein. I did uh, another film called Haunted. Yep. And this was all, like, within my first four years. But it just kind of shows there's no uh, rhyme nor reason. There's no... I, was, I think I'm having the longest apprenticeship anyone's ever Do you prefer had. serious or comedy? No, I much prefer comedy. Yeah. I mean, I've spent an entire career of getting up first thing in the morning, going, sitting in some, I say Winnebago, it's normally a port cabin of some kind, yep. really tired, waiting to do my two lines in something. Yeah. You know, even even uh, Phoenix Nights, you know, I'm only in it for about five yeah. minutes. Yeah, but you're something. the most memorable, I'll be honest with you, you are, that's not me just saying it as a friend, I've got other friends in Phoenix Nights who, who we work with, and yeah. but, but you have got the most memorable bit in... Well, it's in, a lovely part, you know. The it creative. is the most memorable, everyone knows that bit if if you it's a cold classic it is a piece of scenery it's, it's, it's a cold classic if you say oh, say someone says to me oh, you, who you gigging with tonight who you gigging with I'll say oh Clinton Baptiste if they don't know you yeah and, and you say to them the clairvoyant from Phoenix nice. I'm getting the word and they'll yeah, go yeah. they'll go no, it is they'll that, go, yeah. it is that. it's like is that like a do you like that do you, do you oh love... I love it of course I do yeah, yeah, yeah it's 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 fantastic and you know the, to, Answer your question. Uh, d doing the comedy stuff is something I always wanted to do. Has anyone ever like n known who you are? Obviously, when the, when you're out in public, yeah, like you're on like I don't know on the underground in London or whatever. Or someone's bumped into you and they've just said nonce but because they're yeah, that does, because, that does. and then other people are around you like <laughs> <laughs> that, does, that does happen that yeah. occasionally you know, and you're like no uh, it's a joke it's a, I do a character yeah, 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 explaining 
you know, I mean, I have a, occasionally, because I go, I'm a season ticket holder at Wolves for some unknown reason, just because my son sports them, and I had to take him there when he was very young, but I'm really in <laughs> <laughs> All hearts. <laughs> Response for <Father>. Fatherhood. <laughs> Fatherhood, yeah. Anyway, what, that noise, that seems to happen a lot. I'm at a football match and people will go, I'm getting the word nonce. Or, you know, something, hey, nonce. And all that sort of thing. Hey, nonce. Hey, nonce. <laughs> I mean, it's the worst, it's the most horrible catchphrase ever. I Do you know what you would have it on your, would you like, if, when you die? Would you like oh, to? Oh Christ! Would you like wow, to? wow! If you have, if you have, if you, if, you, if, you have a, if you have a plaque or a gravestone, you should have. <laughs> that is good. That, uh, I do not word. want that on my gravestone. Though. I'm gonna get where's Bob on me. <laughs> yeah, he gets where's Bob all the time. Oh, yeah, where's right. Bob? Where's yeah, Bob? Yeah, do you know the other guy would do the social move? I know. I know. Bob, yeah, yeah. The, the, I've even started getting it. It's the first time I rang him the other day because of this podcast. Because Bob's in Thailand now, but because of this podcast, the other day I was walking through near Middlesbrough and someone started shouting at me. Yeah. Where's Bob? Where's Bob? Where's Bob? <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't have him in the fucking car all the time, mate. Oh, yeah. You know, Ginger Carl, Ginger Carl, Bob, Bob. It's mad how they do that, man. Hey, where's well, Bob? You almost get it all the time. Everywhere I go, But people think he's your dad as well, don't you? Oh, your dad or my granddad or whatever, they all think we're related, I. But do you know what we found really funny? That so he, he, the, one of the trolls that trolled him before. Because oh, yeah. Bob's the one who wants to do it all the time. He wants to, he loves it. He's so active, isn't he? <laughs> he dri- right, right, drives it. One of the trolls before said, um, to Callie, he sent a big message saying, "You, you finger this man for money." Uh, I was like, I was like, it's fucking something along. It's fucking vague this, but it was something along the lines of, um, "You clearly rinse this old man oh, for money." Um, really? You use him? Does his family know about this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> does his family? <laughs> it's Bob encouraging it. It's probably Bob writing that for a bit of sympathy. <laughs> of <him. laughs> oh Christ! <laughs> but he's a role though, Bob, because what he'll do, he'll scroll down the comments, right? But for what I don't for years, right? Any negative comments at him or Les, the other kid who used to be involved, and we I used to delete them so they didn't say it, so it wasn't affecting them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, and but Bob, what Bob will do, he'll read them and then he'll go, Look what someone said about you, yeah, <laughs> and, he, and he'll pick out them all and he'll tell us them and sit while he's having his cup. And then I've, I mean, get the enemy cup, I feel like the worst person in the world <laughs> after I've protected him off the fucking yeah, nonce yeah. comments. For you. <laughs> you even rang me up. Even rang me up. I said, "I'll do this joke about Bobby." Saying, like, "Don't call him a nonce." He goes off. Really? Why? He goes off. Oh, mad. it's the worst, though. It's the. Aye. Worst. I mean, He's I got think that, that you know, I do you know cameo and uh, memo where it's like someone's birthday, and you know British people they're so particularly blokes, <laughs> so stunted emotion they can't just say. Um, you know, happy birthday to my mate. Can, it's got to have a sword on it. It's got to be, can you call him a nonce? A ginger nonce? Uh, he's a nonce. Cheers, mate. <laughs> so you go in, you're going, well, happy birthday, Dave. 35 years old. I'm getting the word, you ginger nonce. And then you go, hey, somewhere, someone's going... <laughs> you know, I mean, it's so. I mean, the name it's of this, the name of this episode should Ginger be Ginger Nonce. Ginger Nonce. Ginger Nonce. Let's just be nice to each other, men. Just you do you know, get any nice ones though. You get the occasional nice one where they don't ask you to do that. Or is it all how out of the no, pers- they, if, if you had to filter it in a pers- <laughs> <if you had laughs> to- It's always nonce. Yeah. Always nonce. Always. And, but I'll tell you what is really lovely. It's it's they are they have such love for Peter K yeah. and Phoenix Knights. Yeah, yeah. That um, you know, I'm I'm just so Pleased to be involved with it in some way or other. Oh, you know? smashed it's, it! It's such a good positive thing to it, hasn't it? It's has something, with, they it's love something it. without any like. It's it's every feature about it's redeemable. It's, it's lush in it. It's it is so and, real life. And you know, like you, you know, presumably you were pretty young when that came out. Yeah, but people yeah. remember that with such nostalgia in a way that I might remember Dad's Army or yeah, something. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. They've got such affection for it, and I'm just you know, God, thank God, you know, I had some That's tiny. What <laughs> Oh, Humility. <laughs> Humility. <laughs> Humility. <laughs> Humility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got a great guest. <laughs> a fantastic time. We've Thank you for having me. Um, oh. You've been a great Is guest. Is that the end of Yeah, oh, it's been oh, great. What a stupid man. <laughs> Fuck yeah. you, man. But where, where, where can we see you on tour? Ah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
At last. <laughs> Never mind all that other stuff. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to be on tour uh, in my solo show, Roller Ghoster. Can you put the dates up now? James is we will get all it. Some okay. of them. Yep. I'm... And uh, and that's the March 2024. And uh, yeah, it's on 96 dates all over the country. So please come. And if you're coming to the Newcastle Time Theatre, oh, Time Theatre, Time Theatre, the one I'll do now. Cal will be there in the crowd. Aaron and Bob, they'll be. Yes, there. I think I'll... we're doing Whitley Bay. I think we are. I'm sure yeah, we yeah. are. We'll yeah, all yeah. Be, beat them all. We'll be great. Be, so they'll they'll be there as well. So you, in, if you're in the in the pub at the side, you can get a yeah. picture with yeah, it's them. All, picture. Picture. <laughs> it's all new. It's all new. I'm writing new stuff. It's, so uh, it's not trotting out the same old stuff. I'm going to come away with Tourette's from this now, just interrupt everyone's <laughs> sentences with fucking... <laughs> summarising yeah. words. But, uh, yeah, so if you haven't um, followed the Patreon, we've got ep- extra episodes now on the Patreon. We've yeah. got merchandise on there, which Merch. Cal's got there. Merchandise. Merchandise. And you get a discount on that if you go on Patreon, which yeah. is really nice. And if you want to come on my Patreon, <laughs> please... <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash Clinton Baptiste. <laughs> Please, because it's it's proper, you know, I do it every week. <laughs> I write some of it, it's not this shit. <laughs> Ghosts. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Ha 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 ha, yes man.